Cook Eat is proudly sponsored by Board Bia and StopFoodWaste.ie. Welcome to Grow, Cook, Eat. Each week we're growing one star vegetable and we'll show you how easy it is to get from pot to plate. So what are we waiting for? Let's get growing. Our first vegetable in this series is the potato. This week is all about tomatoes, garlic, beetroot, salads, peas. I'm always looking for great growing stories and that's why I'm paying a visit to Vox Pro in Cork. They employ more than 3,000 people worldwide and interestingly, one of their recent hires is a horticulturalist. What actually happens to all those leftovers and peelings and grass cuttings once it's collected? I'm gonna go find out. Today, I'm in Dublin's North Strand to visit an amazing group of people at Mud Island Community Garden. I'm paying a visit to a grower just down the road who's growing tomatoes on a whole other scale. We have 47,000 tomato plants. Oh my God. St. Bridget's National School in Stillorgan has something really special, and I've been dying to visit it for ages. Their community garden is so inspiring, and so is Caroline Jolly, the lady who started it. We need to get school gardens and growing yeah. and cooking yeah. on the school curriculum because it's not Absolutely. there at the minute. Absolutely. And it's a yeah. sore loss. It is. Every year GIY rocks up to bloom in the park to talk to all the festival goers about the great work that we do and to encourage them to do a bit more growing, whether that's at home, at school, at work or in their community. With way too much fruit and veg in the supermarkets coming from abroad, I'm paying a visit to an amazing apple farmer in Tip who's leading the charge with Irish grown produce. So we eat about 100 million euros worth of apples in Ireland every year and 95 million euros worth of those are, are from abroad. That is crazy. In Ireland, we're really lucky to have access to lots of great food. But food waste is a serious issue. Food Cloud is an organisation tackling this problem head on with an ingenious solution. So Food Cloud Hubs is a social enterprise that matches businesses that have surplus food to charities that can use it. The stats are fairly startling. 30% of food produced globally is actually wasted. I am so excited to be here in Clonakilty. The sun is shining and we're going to go and visit an amazing community garden with some fantastic people. It's a garden that's been created by a community for people who had to leave theirs. One challenge facing residents of a direct provision centre in Clonakilty is having space to grow their own food. Today I'm visiting Airfield Farm in Dublin where just like at Grow HQ, they're producing great food in an urban setting and educating people at the same time. I think we kind of take our food for granted a little bit. Yeah. We walk into our supermarkets, our shops, there's an abundance of food on the shelves. Yeah. We don't actually think past the shelves. So really what Airfield is about is bringing them past the shelves and really to create a respect and empathy for food. And right now we're in County Cork, my home county, the Real Republic, and we are about to check out a fantastic new community garden and not even the rain is going to dampen our spirits. We're going to be bringing life, colour and edibles into Blackpool communities. And with just a few hours, our challenge is to completely transform this space. I mean the whole community will benefit in the long term. It's all about the community and people coming together to create this bright inviting space. So plants, paint, people power. In my experience when it comes to growing, soil fertility is the most important thing to think about. Those nutrients that the, plants, the plant has taken from the soil while it's growing, you have to replace that. Everything you see on the, on the table here is all about improving the quality of your soil, improving the fertility of your soil. And as we said at the start, it's all about that connection between the health of your soil and your own health. Now check that out. Who does not have the space or the time to grow something as lovely as that? Isn't that magic? Today, Michael Kelly, we are going to be talking about and planting an orchard in an hour. I don't think we're going to do it in an hour. Today, we are going to uh, show everybody how to build a raised bed. We're not just standing in a random... And I've got my drill. I'm nothing. feeling very, very manly. Right, that's my Norwegian landscape using the beautiful Orla potatoes that are grown outside. Jack Kerwin from Sprout & Co has popped into the Grow Cookie Cafe to rustle up a trio of tomato tasties. This is summer in a plate, dude. Yeah. Mm. I absolutely love this plate of food. Now it's time for the amazing Jessica Murphy to do her thing in the cafe kitchen. 
She's putting our gorgeous garlic front and centre by making a confit and showing us a few ways of using it. He's putting together a tasty trio of beautiful beets in the Grow Cook Eat Cafe. Only just 12 weeks ago, we started off outside with the tiniest seeds you could possibly imagine, sowing them in drills out in our garden. And here we are now on a glorious uh, sunny afternoon, stuffing our face with a roast carrot salad. Well, I reckon Jack's ridiculously easy green salad with a trio of dressings is just the job. Beautiful roasted pea soup, fresh from the garden. Well done, Jess, for putting garlic centre stage. But like who said, salads need to be boring. This is just great food. It does look like a warm Can hug. I taste? If you go up close, look how responsive these are to a little noise. Watch this. Woo! And they all jump up. These are perfectly chitted spuds. They're perfectly what? Chitted. 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 Very, you have to be very careful how you say that. Well, you know, we like, to live, man. We like to live life on the veg, so uh, yes, yeah. There we go. Okay. Down to the cool. scut, as I would say. Cut and cut and down to the scut. Yeah. <laughs> That's a new one. Absolutely. Okay. We're not going to eat it now. You stuck your finger in it. Why? What's wrong? <laughs> in GIY, we're all about this concept of food empathy and reconnecting people with their food in a really meaningful way. All employees should have access to green space, plants and good food. So everything I need is right from the garden. So this garden is my life. Clearly a very uh, emotional project in a very amazing space. We really hope this series has changed the way you think about food and inspired you to give growing a go. And we'll see you next year for a brand new series with an exciting new selection of veg that you can grow, cook and eat.